hello everyone welcome to the blender cafe today in this short tutorial i will show you how easily we can make a conveyor belt inside blender so let's start start a new file with the default queue first step and go to the edit mode uh, by pressing 3 we can select the faces press x and delete the face the space and also select the other face delete it press a select all scale it and let's scale it in the y then uh, select the loop cut insert a loop cut here come down here and increase this value to somehow like 30 yeah 30 will be enough insert the same number of loops here and also insert some loop cuts here maybe eight too much six will be enough and also insert six loops here go back to the object mode by pressing tab press shift a insert a cylinder and um, change this value to 16 uh, rotate it um, along the y-axis enter 90 press g and move it along the y direction to the one corner Press Shift T, duplicate it and move it to the other corner. Now uh, we will select these two cylinders and we will scale it um, just to increase it a little bit of size. Scale this one as well a little bit along the X direction and this direction. Then we will apply some physics properties. Select this. Uh, cube and uh, go to the physics steps apply cloth to this select this one apply collision select this one and apply collision and let's check it out by playing we can see our cloth uh, effect is working the belt but you can see there is so much bending in our belt to make it tight uh, there are two ways one is based on the geometry and the other is uh, playing along with these properties here so i will show you how we can do that first of all uh, select your cloth and uh, go to the edit mode and you see this these gaps when the cloth it fall down so actually these parts it make that bending part so if we reduce this this gap then like we can reduce the bending as well so i will delete few faces select the face board and uh, sorry and select these spaces delete it and also delete uh, these spaces Shift, select x delete faces uh, go to the edge selection mode by pressing 2 select this edge shift select this one press f by making them um by making this new face we will by pressing the x-ray mode on we will delete these spaces as well like that so select these spaces and uh, x delete them also select uh, again once again select this one ship select this one press save and do something like this okay now uh we have to avoid this this intersection so by pressing by selecting this uh, edge and if we move it a little bit something like this and then move it this so make it like uh, something like which is quite near to the cylinder so that we reduce the gap <coughs> also move this edge more in this direction yeah so you can see here it's quite now okay do the same thing with the other side okay and then go back to the object mode and now if we play so we see that the bending it's reduced quite much we can further tighten up the belt by changing uh, the properties so come down here to the stiffness tab and increase this value the tension let's give it a value of 1000 
and let's check it out again and we can see that the bending is almost vanished so yeah now let's uh, create some motion select this cylinder press n and uh, insert a single keyframe for the y rotation go to the end tab and uh, also then rotate it in this direction and give it a value something around uh, maybe 1000 will be enough insert a single keyframe sorry insert single keyframe here and at the start it has deleted the initial value so give it a value of zero and uh, insert a single keyframe here again let's check it out so this is rotating okay do the same to the other cylinder select this one insert single keyframe go to the last frame and uh, rotate it along the x-axis and the last one was 1000 so we will also give a value of 1000 to this uh, to make both look like the same insert insert single keyframe and uh, now we can see that both of them are rotating and also the belt is rotating with it but the belt is slipping a little bit so for that uh, if we increase the friction value select uh, any of the cylinder come down here and increase this value this friction value and now if you we can see that it's rotating without uh, any slip now it's time to apply some material so for material um, i will use the blender library inside blender i will use the blender kit you can see here if you don't have blender kit in you uh, you can't see it here go to the edit uh, click on the preferences and uh, go to the add-on and search for blender kit and in the blender kit you will see this 3d view blender kit and check it and then you will see the blender kit here you can search for models pre materials a lot of stuff here so for the build let me search some material um, something like uh, maybe leather and it gives a lot of these materials and i think uh, this one i will give this one but you we see that this this cube it has no thickness so first we will apply some solid depot modifier uh, here we will come down and we will apply a little bit thickness to it and now if we add the material to it we can add it and uh, select this cylinder and let me apply uh, some material like steel and in the steel let me assign this one the first one so it is assigned this material to the cylinder select the other cylinder and also from here assign the same material to this cylinder so the steel okay now if we play it again we can see this is uh, how our animation is working in this way now let's add something a little bit more to this uh, let me add a cube by pressing shift a mesh uh, cube and um, move it uh, something like this uh, in the z direction okay and uh, bring it here okay uh, press i and uh, insert a keyframe here now when it's rotating i want it to fall down here and go it along the belt and then fall down along this way so for that i will insert keyframes so i want it to touch the belt in at this keyframe so at this i will move it down uh press g and then move it down some place here and down here also rotate it a little bit okay move it a little bit further and uh, okay it's okay press i insert keyframe now let's check it out how it's going 
okay it's coming down some down some some at this frame i want it to be at the center so i will move it to the center okay rotate it again along the x-axis and uh, something like this again insert keyframe with location and rotation again play it down at uh, <coughs> at this frame i want it to be here so move it again along the this direction and place it also rotate it a little bit along the x-axis yeah press i and uh, do the same <laughs> go to the end frame and now at the end frame i want it to fall down some place like here so press g and move it down here then some something like here also rotate it along the x-axis uh, rotate it along the y-axis rotate it along the z-axis and press i insert the location and rotation and so let's check it out how it's going we can see it fall down it more along the belt and now then at the end it will fall down like it to that space if you go to the material tab we can see how it's it will look like we can check our camera view by clicking the alt control and zero and uh, by clicking this view button this this you can then move your model inside the camera view as well with your mouse uh, it will look something like this then if you want to render just click on the render and render animation it will take time i will just render the image at some specific frame maybe here click render render image and it will render out <coughs> that image for you i hope you guys would have learned something from this video uh, please like and also comment on the video and also subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos uh, thank you so much uh, for watching the video and see you in next video bye bye